Well, that's the end of the elementary portion of our show. But don't worry, we'll be back again to join the middle school choir for the last two songs. It's that time again. Everyone's second favorite part of every concert. The time when the choirs change around and we can share fun facts with you. That's right, folks. It's the part of the concert where we share silly and sometimes fascinating facts with you. This year's theme, cold winter facts. Number one. Did you know that the Earth is closest to the sun in December, even though the winter solstice is the shortest day of the year? Number two, a New Zealand insect called a weta freezes completely solid when temperatures drop during the winter. However, when temperatures warm back up, the insect unfreezes, thaws, and resumes its activities. Number three, a bumblebee will perform warm-up exercises in the winter before taking flight. Number four, Bispark, North Dakota holds the record for the most known angels at one time. On February 17, 2007, several schools joined forces to create 8,962 snow angels. Number five, the first Winter Olympics were held in, Fran in France in 1924. No country in the Southern Hemisphere has hosted or even been an applicant to host the Winter Olympics. Number six, the coldest temperature ever recorded was minus 123 degrees Celsius at Vostok Station in Antarctica in 1983. Number seven, all snowflakes have six sides. Number eight, Chicago experienced its coldest winter in 2013 through 2014 since records began in 1872. Although it was the coldest winter overall, the coldest temperature ever recorded in Chicago was on January 25, 1985. Number nine, the Chinese plum is one of the very few plants that bloom in the winter. It is one of the most beloved blossoms in the Chinese art and poetry because its fragrant, fa fragrance can be noticed even in the winter. It came to symbolize hope, perseverance, beauty, and purity, as well as a temporaneous of life. Finally, number 10, a runny, congested nose and a sore throat, which always occur when winter and spring begin, is an allergy. It's a non-allergic reaction to the humidity changes with very different treatments. That concludes our 10 fun winter facts for your amusement. I feel smart, and it looks like the middle school choir is ready. Without any more delay, here is the middle school choir under the direction of Mr. Kramer.
Charles Gunner, and it was published in 1852. Gunner used a song that was written by Bach 137 years earlier and added to it a famous commonly painful song. Next, we sing a traditional Hanukkah song, song called Hane Ro Talab. The song is about the celebration of lights, the sacred candles, and what they represent. The next song we will be singing was originally written for the soldiers off fighting overseas during World War II. Since then, I'll be home for Christmas has become a Christmas standard. Its place in the American Christmas was solidified, solidified when Bing Crosby was singing in the classical movie musical White Christmas. Finally, we will sing this most wonderful song. In 1963, it was originally recorded by Andy Williams for his first Christmas album. So first, here is all the for Christmas. Enjoy! Oh, 
as the, element, as the elementary school choir returns to the stage to join us, we would like to take you take a moment to thank several people who have made this concert possible. Thank you to the elementary and middle school principals, Mr. Walsher and Mr. Jorgensen. Thank you to our choir boosters. Thank you to all of to you all for coming and supporting us. It means so much that you have come here to hear us sing. The first song we are singing together is called Winter Dreams. It is a peaceful and beautiful winter song inspired by daydreaming of falling snow, wintry wonderland scenes, and nostalgic winter memories of home and childhood. We hope you enjoy winter dreams.
just want to say a brief word about the beautiful poinsettias that are up here this evening. Thank you so much for your contributions and helping with our poinsettia fundraiser this year. Not only does it get to decorate our stage and create a very festive atmosphere, but it also raises a lot of funds for the choir. So I had to get my paper out for the exact number of profit that we made this year. Uh, so for the poinsettia fundraiser this year, we made, drum roll please, $464 for our choir this year. So thank you students for participating in that. Thank you families for supporting the choir. Uh, we look forward to uh, continuing to grow the pro choir program. Last year we had 60 kids between both schools. Now we have over 90. So the choir program is doing very well here at the school students that want to close our concert before sleep, so come on down. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, Ms. Gifford, for your Please remember to take your poinsettias home and thank you for supporting the club.